What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care because up to this point we've now gone to Petal Meadows, gone through Petalburg, went through the, shonk, the Schwank Fortress, got the key to go to Hooktail's castle, got our second partner, Coop, who actually has no confidence, I swear that's a theme, and now we just need to go through Hooktail Castle, but we can't because the bridge is broken. But we don't need to worry about that quite yet because if we go underneath the bridge, you'll find there's a secret little path doesn't get you over the bridge or under it really, but if you go far enough and don't drown like Coops has twice now, you'll find a hidden badge. Use Coops ability, and there you go, you got HP plus, increases maximum HP by 5. Can we equip that? I don't know if we've got enough BP for it. We don't. We need 3, we've only got 1. We could take some stuff off, but I don't really think it's worth it. So yeah, the theme I want to talk about. Goombella has no arms, and Coops has no confidence. I wonder if the future partners have something missing. I guess we'll just have to see. So, since we can't go through it or under it, I guess all that's left is to go over it. Let's just take this secret spring around the back and through here. And what do you know? Aeroplane panel. How convenient. Also, wait, are those clouds actually moving, or is that just a camera perspective? It was just a camera perspective. I thought it was going to be really cool then, but no. Alright. Welcome to Hooktail Castle. Those stairs just take you back up so you can fly over the bridge again. As once again you'll see Cooper Troopers and Dry Bones. The dead ones. It seems kind of, oh, I got hit first. It seems kind of morbid, don't you think? To just be hit by, like, to be in a room full of your dead comrades, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to swap partners, which is a new thing we can do in tactics, and go to Goombella so we can do some tattling in a minute. First, let's jump on this Koopa Troopa. Nice. Yeah. Stylish. Stylish. I cannot get that timing right. Well, Bella, it's alright. Just tattle and then I can make you disappear again and I can show off Koopa's nice. ability. That's a Koopa. Stylish. No, Koopa Paratrooper. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Trooper with wings. Max HP is 4 and attack is 2 and defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down to be a plain Koopa Trooper. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stip, stomp on him again and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle around a bit. Hmm, yes, because wiggling's very useful in this game. Whenever. There we go. Now see if I can get this timing. Yes. And one got off, of course. Now, Goombella, get out of here. Come down to our level, Koopa Paratrooper. Why is your name so awkward? Oh, he went straight on his back. I thought he'd become a Koopa Trooper on his foot first. Or feet. Alright. Koops' ability, when he has 3 FP, is Power Shell. Throw a shell at all enemies on the ground. It looks like this. Very nice. Uh, ooh! <gasps> ah, god damn it. I can never get that right. And I can't multi bounce. So I guess I'll just kill this guy. Nice. Sorry, not kill, defeat. Stylish. Stylish. Koopa versus Koopa, not gonna work, sorry. And I couldn't time that one right. It's really awkward because the enemies are different, like, they're p positioned in different places further away from the characters, nice. so you've gotta time it differently. Also, stylish. here's some stylish moves. I cannot. I can't always get the timing right on that, but when I do, uh, I do. I don't really know where else I'm going with that, and he's still not dead. So it's so awkward when you only do one damage because you're just at the beginning of the game. Because I'm used to the ending of the game where you do like loads of damage, that sort of thing. So it's really slow. Uh... Yes, yeah, just nod your hat a little bit, Mario. Also, I can't speak. Aha! What I was going to say is there's actually a few differences in the European version of this game, which is what I'm playing, if you couldn't tell. That's a little, it's just a little different to the rest of the world's, like, animations and the game, obviously. For example, Mario's animations. Whenever he's talking to people, you now, wait, I don't actually remember what you see him do. Like, you see him talk, but I'm not sure, that might be in all of them. But there's something he does, some animation that was removed in the European version because it looked like he was doing the Hail Hitler thing. I've seen it in the American playthroughs where Mario would just sort of lift his hand up as if he'd like to say hi or something, I don't know. But in this game, Mario doesn't, probably because of the whole Hitler thing. Or at least that's what I interpret it. 
There's also a later character that's in that in the Japanese version is a boy wanting to be a girl, I think. Whereas in this and the American version, it's just a girl. Nice. But I'll come to that when that time comes. For now, we have a poison mushroom on the bingo. I bet it's going to be my luck that I can't do the bingos, but the moment I get a poison mushroom, like two poison mushrooms, I'll find the third one and then lose loads of points, and that's not going to be good. Nice. Uh. And I still couldn't get the stylish, but the Koopa Trooper seemed to not mind. Do I have to say Trooper? It's really awkward. I just want to say Koopa. It's much quicker. It's what I've been brought up to say. And we still have one more to defeat. I saw him. He's going to go. Is he another strike first? No, he's not. He will be. No, he won't. Coin, 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 coin. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to hit Koopa with Koopa. Uh, wait, where'd he go? Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's, uh, come on, it's still a star, it's just not a shiny, shiny star. It's a galaxy star and not a sunshine star. Ah, uh, it's got to count for something. No? Alright. Oh well, what am I expecting? It's only the first chapter anyway, I doubt I'm going to get amazing bingos quite yet. Not that the actual chance of getting a bingo increases, it's just the game's only really started. So, I don't know. Right, question mark block, what is inside you? I really should know these things off by- Ooh, power bounce! I use this one a lot. Does it have only one BP? Please tell me yes. No, okay. I, uh, don't want happy heart. Oh, they're both available now, okay. Well, HP plus is kind of useless anyway, because it's just like having an upgrade on HP, but I'd rather actually do it in an actual level up than waste my BP doing it. So I'm going to take Bower Bounce. What it does is you can basically bounce on one enemy as many times as you can press A before you land on their head. And trust me, it can get a little awkward after a while, especially when you do stylish moves at the top of every jump. Anyway... Oh! Oh no! These bones! They remind me of my father! There's... There's no doubt about it! It's my father! Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I, uh, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to, oh, I came to this castle to destroy Hooktower, but I am stuck and can go no further. What are you stuck on? It's just a... never mind. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dreaded... or the dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that start with Krr and end with Ikit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hot... H Hooktail's weakness. Hooktail. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with an ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not co Why is he going American? Jesus, I can't do unconfident voice, apparently. Oops, um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my father. Ugh, don't- are you just going to investigate all of these sk no, can't you just remember his shoes and- I don't know, like everyone else wears green, that one's wearing red, and that one's purple, and you're wearing white? Wow, how unoriginal. Blar har har harf! You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to disturb this castle- or come to this castle to disturb us, yes, because we are the castle disturbers. Fear us! You will go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones! Haven't we always been bones a little bit on the inside? I mean, let's be honest. Anyway, we're now getting pushed out. Um, what are they doing? Ouch! It's no use, Mario! They're all over me, man! What should we do? I don't know, but where did you go all gangster? I don't remember. So, what do you do? Is you hammer them. You want to go back to the red bones guy over there. You know, the one that's not full of brown boots. These aren't green, they're brown. Ha-ha! And now comes a little mini-boss, or an event, ba event battle. Now... This is a little awkward. 
Goombella's already a little low on health, so even though I'm swapping to her, she's gonna... Alright. Let's see. Goombella, uh, tattle the dull bones. Nice. That's a dull bones. Sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Trooper. Once. Max HP is 1, attack is 2, and defense is 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dual bones are at once at once are the most effective. Wait, they have one HP? Okay then. I cannot time this well. Nice. Don't hit Goombella. Oh god, if that's going for Goombella, we're dead. Oh great. And I can't tattle the guy in the middle anymore. Thank you for that. Really. Very helpful. Uh, okay. Well, the guy in the middle is the main guy you want to worry about, but we'll come to that when we come to that, I guess. In fact... What to do, what to do, what to do. I really should have healed up before this, shouldn't I? Alright, how about we use our sweet treat? We're going to get a different sound at the end of the battle now if we win this, because Goombella's dead, so we've got to do something different. But, actually, now I think about it, I probably should have swapped to Coop. See, I always... I always realise I've made a bad decision when I'm in the middle of the decision I've made. And that doesn't help at all either. No, don't throw yet. Oh god, really? Two poison mushrooms are just being mean to me now. There we go. A left, 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 left. Great, 11 H. Wow, 11 HP, that's actually pretty good. Okay. And now time to get bombarded with bones. I can't even time the A1 now, seriously? Come on. Alright, now I'm back down to half health. Right, swap to Coops. We have enough uh, FP to do Power Show at least. Now because we're not going to get the tattle on the red bones, which only shows up once, actually he might show up twice, but you know, he's pretty much just a boss, so you're not really going to see much of him. We will have a way to get his little tattle log later, but I'll show that when the time comes. For now, uh, Coops, use your mushroom. On Mario. Feeling better now? No, you're still pa- No, you stop panting. Good. Alright, now it's time to not power bounce because we can't have that anymore. Okay. Uh, I can't tell if you can burn them, so I'm not gonna. We're gonna... Uh, uh. Yes, okay, not enough FP. Let's do normal bounce. Oh great, he's got defense. We should have used a hammer. That is disturbing, by the way. How can how can Coops watch this by the way? Because this is like he's watching dead corpses of himself doing this. Anyway, the hammer does one more damage, but you know, only hits once, so this should hopefully hurt. Very little, but it did. What we need is an FP storing th oh Jesus. Is this what this whole thing is going to be? Am I going to just take out one, hit you with one point, and then you're going to rinse and repeat? Because I feel like that's what's going to happen. Well, I can do it, but I mean, they don't cost me FP, so sure. I've already made 24 star points, so why not make it more? Even though, I oh, it's not going to make a difference. Dizzy attacks might miss. One of the other many status effects you can have in this game. Dizziness. It means you might miss, which is not very helpful. But at least Coots won't miss, because if he did, then it would make more pain for us. Oh, oh, this is a good time to have one. It won't bring Goombella back, but I still got the wrong thing anyway. So it might not look that bad, it all might look normal, but then, oh, you hit anyway. Never mind. The action looks pretty much the same, except you're probably like a few centimeters to the side, so you won't actually hit them, so that's what it looks like when you miss, generally. I'm getting loads of style, I'm getting loads of star quick from killing all these dull bones, actually. I'm, I'm pretty fine with him keep using this. There you go, that's what it looks like to miss. You thought you hit him, but maybe not. Oh, Jesus, I was expecting you to throw a doll bones at me. Not a bone. Throw me a bone. And call me Jimmy. There we go. Taken down in style. Jesus, 40 star points, I'll take it. Besides, we needed more FP, didn't we?
Alright, we've had height HP and BP, so now it's time to increase FP. In case you didn't know what they standed for, it was health points, bad points, and flower points, but you could probably tell that all now already. It's weird saying two sentences at once, by now and already. Okay, Goombella, how you doing? You've got zero HP, and I don't have any health stuff, do I? Uh, you know what would have been really good at this time? Happy Heart! Yeah! Alright, you know what? I'm not going to take that off. I'm going to take off that and that to put that on. Temporarily. I'll have Goombella out in the field and hopefully she'll heal. That might only... No, that only heals Mario. I'm changing my mind. You have to have a separate badge to actually heal your partners called Happy Heart P. As in Happy Heart Partner. Yeah. Alright, Dull Bones, you're going down. I missed. Oh, that one's got a mushroom! We still can't take it, never mind! Alright, multi-bounce. This will take them all out in one go. And I'll do it in style. Okay, now I'm just seeming stupid. Stylish. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, I deserved that. I deserved that too. I can't hit the B button in time. There we go. Great. Good. I'm glad I did that. It was a great contribution. Does fire hurt them? I don't remember. Yes, it does. Oh, it's super effective, pretty much. Damn. That's what it sounds like when a partner's dead and you win, in case you were wondering. Oh, good. HP. Now Goombella has one heart. Now up here we have a Shine Sprite in a box. You got a Shine Sprite, a mysterious powerful object. Collecting these will help. It's another collectible to get. You've got badges, you've got... Uh, star pieces and all that, and now we have Shine Sprites. There are a total of 42 in this game, I believe. So yeah, we got more collecting to do. Hello, buddy. You're about to die. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Goodbye. Stylish, stylish. Oh, Jesus. That always made me jump. Okay, oh, 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 I could do Sweet Treat now. To Bella. I should have known this before. I really should have bought a couple of mushrooms, shouldn't I? It's weird because I never do badly as well. I never do badly in these in these chapters because they're supposed to be easy, but I guess I was unlucky. I don't actually remember what I did to make me lose so much HP, but oh well, I couldn't even see that poison shrub. All right, we've got three HP for Goombella. Prioritize the Goombellas. Get that one. Yes. Ah, uh, ooh, that was close. And eh, that was pretty good actually. Good thing Shuni has 10 HP. All right, we should be on top of things now. Goombella, you can't hurt them. We're gonna, even though I've just healed you, you're going back in the box. Great. That's such a weird sound when they stand up, it's like, Ugh. what to do, what to do. Um, hmm. I guess no power shell them, I guess. Use up all the FP I've got, or the FP that I have got soon. And I can't time that, eh? Love that one whistler in the audience. Yay, eight star points. And now we've come to our first puzzle, in a sense. You see these two switches? They correlate with the big switches up there. For example, this one's glowing, meaning it must be up. Hit it. And it comes down. Wow, I know. What does this one do? It can't do anything because there's a massive block on it. So turn it, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, doesn't want to turn off. That's good. That's always a good thing. Oh, no, it turned off by itself. Good. So now that we've got this little purple one down, we can jump over and hit this block. And now if we move out the way, we can hit this switch. But there's a couple other things we can do first. For example, with Koops, we can hold and make him defy gravity a little more. And then if we were to say, stand on the purple block when we make it go up, this will happen. Secret door to the right. And a lovely piece of a star. Good. Now let's just do the same for the yellow one. Do more gravity to find Koops, I knew you would. It's really weird doing this holding X as well. By the way, we have to do this because we can't get through the door. I missed. I'm not good at this. Let's try again, shall we? 
You know, the more I think about it, the more I think that only Koops can get this by, like, flying there, but I don't really see how that's quite possible, so I think you do have to jump it, I just don't have the power to do it. Let me try again. Ah. Uh, damn it, Koops, you pushed me that time, I saw it. There we go, Jesus, that was took far too many attempts. Now, what's further to the left here? I don't think I've ever gotten this star piece, because I've always given up. Oh, well, it doesn't look like this much. So, now that the yellow panel is up, we were to go down again. We can now hit this switch using Koops. Oh my god, it was paper the whole time? Who'd have thought? In a Paper Mario game. So now that we're here, what can we do? Well, nothing like more gravity to find to get a castle key. Castle key, it's alliteration. We can't get back without the switch again. I wonder, no, I don't think there's a way you can like have Coop hold it and you can stand on the s stairs. So that would defy everything anyway, but yeah, okay. Oh, they've given us a save lock. That means there must be something important going on, right? I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. For now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care. Hope you don't mind the video being more longer than the previous ones. I'm probably going to make it average to like 25, even though, even though this one's only like 20. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit.